the Institute for Religious Tolerance, Peace, and Justice uh, leads a, an interfaith solidarity march here in Los Angeles every year. And we also lead, we are the lead organization of an international coalition of interfaith marches called the Interfaith March for Peace and Justice. When I was growing up, I always noticed that if a fight broke out between two kids, a mob would always form around them, urging them on, shouting, fight, fight, some even taking sides. This is the lowest form of humanity, the most base and despicable reaction that we can have. And as grown-ups, I still see people doing this, and I've been watching social media for the last couple of days, and people retreating to their corners, taking sides, rooting for Israel, or rooting for Palestine, as if this were a boxing match, as if one could ever actually win a war without losing everything, including one's righteousness. Do I have an easy solution to the problems between Israelis and Palestinians? No, I do not. But this is not the way. Jerusalem is a holy place for all three Abrahamic faiths. The sanctity of the location must be maintained and kept free of violence. Those of us here in Los Angeles, people of every faith and elsewhere around the world must stand together and demand a ceasefire and demand justice. Rather than taking the side of one combatant over another, we must take the side of peace, the side of God. As people of faith, as people of goodwill from the three Abrahamic faiths, cousins all of us, children of the same God and children of Abraham, it is our responsibility to say to the adversaries who are lobbing rockets at each other while innocent bystanders are caught in the crossfire, enough. Now one of the two dozen member marches that are part of our global interfaith march community that I mentioned earlier, one of these is a group in Bethlehem, in Palestine, led by my friend Mohammed Jamus, just a wonderful young hum human being. And I've gotten to know him over the last few years, working with him to help coordinate his local march in the Holy Land. And he is a beautiful human being, and I want him and his family to be safe. His new bride, he just got married recently. His precious little niece, who I met over Zoom while, while conversing with Muhammad. His elderly mother, who recently survived COVID. And the rest of his family. I could not imagine if anything were to happen to him or his loved ones. But he's in the thick of it, in the line of fire. And just yesterday, he posted on social media, quote, the situation in the Holy Land is now like a battlefield. All cities are on fire. And I remember reading that and thinking, this is, this is somebody witnessing this. And we need to listen. This is my friend. And he is a Palestinian. And he is a Muslim. He does not represent Hamas. He is not a terrorist. He is an innocent bystander and the breadwinner of a large family that has been in desperation for well over the last year. He has actually been out of work for about a year, doing whatever he can to support this large family. I don't know how he manages. But Muhammad, my friend, has informed us that the city of prophets is under attack. But it is not by earthly forces, but by ignorance and hatred itself. The God of Jacob, the God of Israel, the God of Muhammad, speaks to us in all his holy scriptures and demands peace. And as it says in the Gospel of Luke, Chapter 11, verse 51, Jesus of Nazareth proclaimed, as a result, this generation will be charged with the blood of all the prophets that has been shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was killed between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, all of it will be charged to this generation. That was his demand. The blood of the innocent in Jerusalem will not be forgotten by God. And right now, I am specifically talking about Palestinian blood. Make peace in the Holy Land. Make peace everywhere. It is our time to stand together as a community that we have here and say no more. Be at peace. I stand with my friend Mohammed Jamus. I stand with peace. And I stand with my friends here of each of the Abrahamic faiths to assert the right of worship of all to worship safely and freely, and that Palestinian lives do matter.